Okay, I'm sure you have plenty of questions. The main question being, where the hell have I been? Well, that's quite simple. I've been the f on Monday last week. My uh, computer had to do a virus scan, and then my anxiety flared up big time, and I was not able to do anything rather than while in bed being very, very, very sad. But I'm back and hopefully should be back on schedule again. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting on the completion of the model for the restaurant. Uh, full disclosure, it might be a short stream because I've still got pr plenty of anxiety kicking around and I'm not a big fan of it. So what we're going to do is, we're going to get this, we're going to control D it, we're going to do that we're going to select everything inside of it. So we're going to Let's select all this, 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 all, oops. Ow, oh, poo. Ow. Alright, we're going to select all of this. So, and what we're doing will become clear in just a sec. I need to select all of it first. It's going to take a bit of a while, unfortunately, to select everything. Ah, whatever. Select all of it. I could probably can do it from here. I, I obviously can. I'm just being very silly. So what we're first going to do is grab this. We're going to press these buttons. This one is delete uh, tra history. So basically, all these blocks are just going to be as a are basically just going to be as though they were first created, even though we've edited them all. And this one freeze transforms, making it saying if basically saying where you are right now, that is where you were originally created. Obviously, it's not true, but what we wanted to do. Now, what we're going to do is hold shift clicking down here, click combine. I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is get all these and delete it. So what we have now is the restaurant as a single object, which is going to be important. So what we're going to do is so we're going to rename this restaurant blockout underscore geo, standing for geometry. I'm going to select it, make sure it's got nothing. We're going to save, and now we're going to file, export selection, we want to make it an FBX select, export selection, it's going to be, uh, when this loads up, it's going to be exported into scenes with an FBX, and what will be called lock out underscore rest or Ont underscore geo, and that's what we're going to do. Export selection. Now we've got that. What we're going to do now, we're going to press, we're going to select both of these. We're going to go into the first with this, we're going to hide that. I think that's sorry, I've done the wrong thing. What we want to do with this, I'm going to go control H, H, shift H, oops, there we are. Now this is hidden from view. Select both of these, go to the channel box. We're going to add this, add selected objects into that. We're going to save the scene. Now what we're going to do is click file, save scene as, and this will be just, and this will just be, and this will be a modeling restaurant. Save as. Doing this, so we will keep, basically, what we're doing is that we're going to be saving each in increments. And so every time we make progress on something, we're going to be saving it as a whole new scene, so in case we screw up big time on this modeling, we can go back to it. Now we want to make this reference 
There we are. Because we're going to be using this uh, as a uh, basis of our model. I th yeah, we want to actually want to do it like that. Yeah, that's good. So what we're going to do? Add in a big square and make it the size of the restaurant. So we want to make it go upwards, go upwards a bit. So we actually want to make this go about to the roof, which is hmm. Uh, there-ish, I think. No, it's not. Okay, we're going to need to make that actual visible. So we can get a block there, that's good. Draw one. Make my face, make it go down like that. Make that go down to the ground, like so. Now what we're going to do going to select the object again. I'm going to make it go as big as the building. Sort of like so that one's sticking out just for over there. Face that like that. I'm gonna make it go to there ish. Like this face, make it go to the edge over here, like that. I'm going to make sure this is actually the right size. It's slightly too small, so we'll make it slightly bigger, move it over slightly, slightly bigger like that. I've made it too big, like an idiot. Uh, yep, I don't know what I've done wrong, so I'm going to make that smaller again. I get this to be the right size. So what we're going to do is we're going to select vertex, center on this vertex. Now we select face. Going to make it go like that. What we're actually going to do is that we're going to zoom in a lot on this. Further, so we can do or exact measurements like so. I want to select this face. I'm going to move again, zoom in very close. So we can move it out like so. There we go. Basically, since, this is, since we are doing the micro modeling this time, we don't have to be quick. Face. Select this face. Go. Zoom all the way in. You can make it go about to there. It's like this face again, because we can make it a little slightly better. Zoom in more there. That's close enough. Now we're gonna do like this face over here. Move it up to about there. Make it out there. There we go. Like that. Now what we're going to do? Now we're going to go Control Shift, Multi Cut. Want to cut it there, like that. Get the face tool out again. Click Q so we're back in selection mode. What we're going to do is going to hold Shift to extrude it outwards. We'll do this time that we're going to hold down V to move it to a vertex. Therefore, it's perfectly aligned, which I probably should have done with the other ones. I wasn't thinking about it because I don't know, not that bright, I guess. And there we go, like so. Make that invisible. We've now got ourselves the very blocky. Basis of our restaurant. Now what we're going to do that we're going to continue 
to work on this. So I'm gonna do I'm going to create a basic I'm trying to right now think what I'm gonna be doing next in this. Just trying to think. We'll do this will I? Oh I have trouble thinking. What am I gonna do next? What am I going to do next? Yeah, we'll do work on this uh right here the uh awning, that's what it's called. Right. Get this out, get that out, increase its size. And just make this go make this go up like so. Up like that. Get the face and move it slightly outwards. Get this face, move it slightly upwards. And we get this face. Move it all the way across. Get this face and move it all the way across. There we go. It's like the edge. Move it downwards like that. So we got an airing. We're going to do it stairs. We're going to get the f this face. Get this. Gonna make it go down like Oop. like so, then like so. Actually, wanna make it make it slightly like that. Move it inwards. Now if we make this invisible, I've completely fucked that up. Make this invisible. Oh god, what have I done? Okay, well let's try this again. Extrude it this time. There we go, that's much better. Move it across like so. Delete it. Why are we doing that? Simple. Get that face and delete it. The reason we're simply doing that is because you don't ever see those faces. They're unnecessary. So you don't need them. And that, in, and that in turn decreases the try limit, which we decreases the tries, which we want to do to make an efficient model. Make this visible again. What will I do next? And then I'll make this sign. So what we need to do. So we're gonna get this. Move it over. Move it up. Over. And we're going to move it up like that. Make it slightly bigger. We want to make this up down V. We like that. We hold down V. Doesn't work like that, but what we can do the vertex like that. I just need to grab. Because grab that. Oops. Oops. I want to do. I want to delete and remove. There we go. That's what we want to do. Now, if we just hold. V. Okay, we can't do it, but what we can do. Okay, what we're gonna do is just increase it like that. Just do it by I. Yeah, like so. What I wanna do? Go into attribute editor. Hopefully, I haven't left this too late. No, not like that. Okay, I did leave it too late. Okay, so what we're gonna do instead? We're gonna do we try that again? So we're gonna get. 
cylinder like that move it like down like that and then what we're gonna do I'm gonna make this go on like that and that will be and reason why will become clear shortly move like so like that down into the middle and piece of size in all directions make it the same as the regular burger bun sign like so okay so the reason we've added these edges we're actually going to do on these edges select them all of them on this side of it and control delete instead we're going to go over to this side we're going to hide this we're going to go base to make it bigger we're going to get the edges we're going to make that big larger like that make these edges make them smaller like that and smaller like that what we're going to do like whoops we're going to grab the faces like that like that move these faces the other faces selected we don't want no cool and we're going to extrude these out like that hmm I just realized the men making a terrible mistake. We're going to have to try this again. So what we're going to do delete that cylinder again. I know I must get something slightly annoying, but it will become clear why I have to delete that again. Make a new cylinder. Make it go like that. What we're going to do actually, because it's a good idea, we'll first increase and like the amount of that into. No, we don't need that much into three again actually gonna do is make this have less sides I'm gonna make it 12 therefore it'll be much more efficient because it won't be quite as l much to render because there's not as many faces so I'm gonna make it go in like that I'm gonna make it go down like so I actually want to make it slightly slightly thinner than that, sort of similar make it way thinner than that actually like that I'm gonna make it thicker across then wider and then again we hide this Go like into this edges. It's like these edges. Control delete. There we go. Now we're gonna do with this. It's like these edges. Make that a bit thicker like so. It's like these edges. Make them thinner. Make it more see. That's not what I want. It's not gonna work like that. Cool. Make it like so. And we get the faces. Get the faces. Want to select all these faces. Like that. Make sure we have none selected, which we don't. We can make this a bit visible again. Extrude this out. Like so make this invisible again. Now all we need to do is uh... I believe this should work like that yep what we'll do is select a create a cube move it over to the cylinder make it bigger move it into a bit move it into a better position 
to make it something similar to that. Like... We want to get a wider like so. You know, it could actually go down there like that. And we're going to go control one, select this face, this face, this face, and delete those. Go like that. Control D. Make it go across like that. Then we make it wider and we've made a 3D sign. Hooray! Like that. How good. How lovely. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna check who the hell keeps texting me. Alright. Cool text discovered and wondering what I'm going to do next. <sighs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end the stream here. I'm in a very poorly mood. And I don't really feel like I can continue on with the stream much longer. So I'm just going to end it. Um, we should be back I will be back tomorrow at 5pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time. I won't miss it like all of last week. I will actually do it, even if it does mean shorter streams. Uh, I will upload this to this YouTube again. Uh, MCH004 Pleasure Channel, where you can also the rest of my archive streams are. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, turn on this. Yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.